Welcome to Weddings Unveiled, the podcast designed to help you build a productive, profitable wedding or event business. Here's your host, Angela Profit. Hi, y'all. It's Angela Profit, your event and productivity therapist, coming to you from the heart of Music City in Nashville, Tennessee. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Weddings Unveiled, professional tips and secrets on wedding planning and event design, where we take you behind the scenes of our past experiences in the event industry, what we have learned from them, and how they have made us stronger. This podcast will help you grow a productive and profitable business to launch you into success within the hospitality industry. So my journey really quickly, I started off in nursing and, well, really nursing school. I worked at a morgue before nursing school, all because of a relationship, not because I wanted to work in a morgue. I didn't even know what it was, Um, but it's with dead people in case you don't know. And so when I went to give shots in my clinicals to like live patients, I couldn't do it. It was inflicting pain on people and I didn't like that. So I'm like, how can I transition out of this? and all my credits move over. And that brought me into psychology, which got me into mental health. So I worked in a psych ward in Florida and got to work with adolescent children who half of them really weren't mentally ill. Their parents were, and then they were just in the state's custody, so it was super sad. Um, That's why I have a heart for, like, helping kids and helping people and, like, giving second chances because sometimes you can't control your environment. You've got to surround yourself with the right people to bring people up. Um, But I did not love that either. However, it taught me about people. And um, so after a, not client, but patient, tried to kill herself in front of me, I was like, this is not for me. Um, I felt like a failure every day, like hitting my head against the wall. I cried just about every day because I felt sorry for people. Like, it's really sad how sick people are in the world, and they just get, like, shunned aside. Um, So I wasn't that special to, like, help the mentally ill. And I got into this business by accident. My family owned a venue on the Gulf Coast. And so I knew how to decorate and like make things fun and pretty. So started doing it for my church just for fun. And then it kind of like by word of mouth turned into business, a business. Social media did not exist. None of what we have today existed. And so when people are like, oh my God, how did you blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I worked my ass off. I did what I said I was going to do, exceeded expectations. And word of mouth is your biggest source of referral. But I use this whole methodology while I was doing all of this, which I'm going to share with you guys, um, which then that turned into like destination events. It's like, hey, I'm not getting married in Nashville, but can you come here? When people are like, oh my God, on your business plan, I'm like, that's a joke. Like every year it's like that wasn't in the plan and that wasn't in the plan. So I kind of stopped planning, which is kind of bad as a business owner. Like you need to plan. You need to have goals. You've got to write them down. No, I don't like a pen, but I have lip liner and I write it on my mirror at home in the mirror. So when I'm getting ready, like I see what I want to do, right? So you got to do something so it's in front of you every single day. And that's the only time I'll say, use a post-it note for your computer. See, like I do have a post-it note. Uh, This tells me when my microphone is on and off because I can't remember for some reason. Too much going on up here. Um, Then in 2010, it flooded in Nashville, so I think some of you guys are here. Um, and so I really have found my passion in helping others based on my crazy ass experiences where it's like, I thought my life was over. I'm like, why is this happening to me? Why is my computer crashing? Why did I lose everything? That was in college. Um, why did someone break into my car and steal my purse with my planner in it? And y'all, I thought I was like so important. I was a senior in college. I taught gymnastics. I taught aerobics and I had class. Like it was important at the time, but I didn't know 16 years later, I'd be like managing millions of details, millions of dollars. It's like, you know, I feel like these crazy things happen to us to prep us and teach us as we grow up. Um, so my wise, like after my computer and my purse and then the flood, this is an interstate 
I-24? Like, that is real. That's not photoshopped. Um, Completely underwater. And so this is the point where a lot of our vendors lost everything. All their nice stuff floated away, including their box trucks, everything. And they're like, okay, Angela, like, what's Dropbox? What's Google Drive? Like, I'll listen to you now about this paperless thing, which before I even taught this and was super crazy, passionate, pushing it on everybody, um, no one would listen to me. And it's like a tragedy had to happen for you people to change and like you suck but okay you know it's like I'm trying to be proactive and help others and so it's like Nashville gets it now like if you live through the flood paperless is a very important thing to you and backing your stuff up is very important to you Um, so disclosure I'm not promising anything for you today I'm literally just sharing our experiences If you found this podcast helpful, please share it with other wedding and event professionals. Be sure to subscribe today so you never, ever miss the juicy details of Weddings Unveiled. Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to tune in next week for more tips on how to grow your business. And if you have a question or an unresolved issue that you want guidance on, connect with us on AngelaProfit.com. For more valuable resources, again, visit the website. And until next time, remember to stay productive and profitable.